My brother graduates and I stand before you today not because we have reached the standards set by the seminary. We aren't here because of talent or skill or piety. We stand before you because of, because of God who is always merciful, who justified us despite our shortcomings and consoled us in our weaknesses. After all the applause and the certificates and the recognition, we come before the Lord saying, Lord, we are nothing. That everything is temporary, that only you will remain. Let us lay everything before the feet of the Lord, the source of everything that is good. Allow us to encourage you, my dear brothers, to say yes to the Lord in all sincerity and in all humility. Skill and talent could only go so far. In the final analysis, it is the Lord who calls us, and He alone will sustain us. Siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. To all our prayer warriors, all those who have helped us along the way, all of you present here today, thank you. May Mary, help of Christians, lead you always to her son Jesus. And may God bless us all. Thank you. That it is not what you have to do. It is not what you want to do or what you think you should do but it is about how you do all things in life. How do you do what you have to do? How do you do what you want to do? And how you do what you think you should do will determine your success. It is a happy day today. It will be extended this afternoon extended even tomorrow you will be happy to see the pictures later you will be happy to see the videos later but that is not the happiness that you were trained for in the seminary because the happiness of today perhaps until tomorrow are fleeting and temporary we trained you in the seminary, some for the past six years, others for the past 12 years, for a happiness that is different from what we have been experiencing since this morning. It is a happiness that leads to holiness. It is a happiness that is proven by holiness. It is a happiness that comes from holiness. How do we reach that happiness? The first step is dream big. Some people dream small because they don't like to be disappointed. But you, you must dream big. You must dream big and dream high. And what is the biggest dream and what is the highest dream that you should aspire for? It is not the college seminary. It is not the theology seminary. The big dream that you must always have is, I want to be a saint. If you dream to be a saint, God will make the dream come true because your dream and God's dream will come together. And the big dream is not summa cum laude. The big dream is I want to be a saint and I am not going to wait for death to be a saint. The best time to be a saint 
is right now. The second dream that you must always aspire for is to follow the Lord, to imitate the Lord. Similar to the first, talk, think, walk, live like Jesus. You want to be happy? Obey always. Disobedient people can never be happy. The disobedient will always turn up to be angry, frustrated, disappointed. To obey is to listen. To listen with two ears, to listen with a single heart. Because true obedience that listens is true love. Because true love always listens. And the third and important key to happiness and holiness is care much. If you don't like to get hurt, don't love. Don't care. You won't get hurt. You want to be happy, care much, love much. To love somebody is to give that beloved full permission to hurt you. He'll only make you love that loved one even more. The diploma makes you happy, thank God. The awards make you happy, thank God. But on Monday, the diploma will be old. The next year, the photographs will fade. You want to be eternally happy, dream big. Dream to be a saint. Obey always especially when it is hardest and care much be ready to get hurt be ready to die because the one who you want to follow said there is no greater love than to die for your loved one